Let us consider this problem from the International Mathematics Competition 2022. In the diagram below, let P be a point on the circumcircle of the equilateral triangle ABC such that PB equals 24 cm and PC equals 8 cm. If AP and BC intersect at D, then find the length in cm of PD. I will start by labeling some parts. We know that PB is 24 and PC is 8. So this one here is 24. This one is 8. We also know some angles here because the triangle is, is actually equilateral. And so each interior angle of the triangle is 60 degrees. So I also label that one. So this is 60 degrees, this one 60 degrees, and this one is also 60 degrees. Notice also that angle APB and angle ACB intercept the same arc AB. Okay? And so, since ACB, angle ACB is 60 degrees, APB must also be 60 degrees. Okay, again, angle ACB and angle APB intercept the same arc AB. And so, if angle ACB is 60 degrees, Angle APB must also be 60 degrees. Similarly, angle ABC and angle APC intercept the same arc AC. Okay? So, if angle ABC is 60 degrees, angle APC must also be 60 degrees. Now, it is very clear that PD is an angle bisector, okay? It, it divides angle BPC into two equal angles or congruent angles. So, this gives us an idea that we might be able to apply the angle bisector theorem to know the ratio between BD and DC. Okay, so let us recall the angle bisector theorem. Angle bisector theorem. Let us consider the triangle ABC. And suppose that BD is a bisector of the angle ABC. So this angle here is congruent to this angle here. According to the angle bisector theorem, the bisector divides the opposite side into two parts whose ratio is equal to the ratio of the other two sides. In other words, AD divided by DC is equal to AB over BC. Now let us apply the angle bisector theorem to triangle BPC where the bisector is PD. And let's see what's the ratio between BD and DC. Okay, because this will help us uh, create a representation for BD and DC. Okay, so let's do that. Apply angle bisector theorem or ABT to triangle BPC. Okay, so let's have BD divided by DC equals BP 
divided by PC. It follows then that BD over DC is equal to 24 over 8, which is equal to 3. In other words, if the ratio of BD and DC is 3 is to 1, BD must be thrice DC. So we can represent DC by Y and BD by 3Y. Okay, now, how do we solve for the value of Y? Take note that the question here is about PD. At the end, we must be able to find the length of PD. So, let us represent PD by X. Notice that in triangles BPD and DPC, we can apply the cosine law. So if we apply the cosine law twice, we will be able to arrive at two equations in variables x and y, which we can solve easily. Okay, so let's do that. So let's apply first the cosine law to triangle BPD. So let's have the cosine law applied, applied to BPD. apply cosine law to triangle BPD and DPC triangle DPC so we have the square of 3y is equal to 24 squared plus x squared minus 2 times 24 times x times the cosine of 60 degrees. So this is 9y squared, um, 576 plus x squared minus, um, take note that cosine 60 degrees is 1 half. So if this is 1 half, Okay, we can actually cancel this one and this. So, we have minus 24x. Okay. Let us also apply cosine law to triangle DPC. So, separate that. So, we have y squared equals 8 squared plus x squared minus 2 times 8 times x times the cosine of 60 degrees okay so we have y squared equals 64 plus x squared minus uh, 16 but uh, this one is likewise one half right this one is also one half so we can just cancel this and so we have minus 8x. Okay, so notice that uh, in this equation, we can replace y squared by 64 plus x squared minus 8x. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, to arrive at an equation with only the variable x. So we have 9 times 64 plus x squared minus 8x equals 576 plus x squared minus 24x. Okay, so let's apply the distributive property in the left-hand side. We will have 576 plus 9x squared minus 72x and then this is equal to 576 plus x squared minus 24x but we can just cancel 576 that's zero right and 
then let's combine like terms so we will have 8x squared and then minus 48x equals 0 and then we will now factor out 8x so I'll just write it here below the figure um, if we factor out 8x we will actually have 8x times x minus 6 equals a 0 which implies that x x can be 0 or x can be 6 but of course x cannot be 0 because there is a segment the segment exists exists and the measurement must be 6 cm so pd which is x is equal to 6 cm and this is our final answer